adjustment here. Here's that wall above, that train wall. So what I could do down here is well, I want to create the actual 3D window well. So all I'm going to do is draw a CAD box, the slab. And this is going to be, I mean, I suppose I could use terrain walls for this too. Um, I just like using the CAD box. And I'm going to break it twice and make it into a U. And then I would, you know, make my adjustments here. You know, get my wall thicknesses just right. And then I have to give this a height in 3D. So I'm going to open its dialog and say, well, you know what, I want that to be, top height to be, because um, we're always, always already separated by 22 inches from, from the top of the train. So this type of a box, this slab does, that has to do with floor height now, not the terrain box height. So here I want the top of this to be minus 15, and I want it to be 5 feet tall. And click OK. I could turn a footing on if I wanted to. Now I go upstairs, and when I, when I go look at this, I can see it's sticking through the terrain, but I still see the terrain in it. So now I have to add a hole on top of it. So let's just let's do this. Let's just draw a CAD box on top of that. The plain old polyline box. Let's go to CAD boxes. Let's just draw a box right on top of it. And I'm going to take that box. It's just a 2D CAD box. And I'm going to take that and hit copy. I'm going to delete it. And then I'm going to go up to my first floor. I'm going to go edit, paste, and hold position. And then I'm going to convert that CAD box to a hole. Okay, so we have to use our convert function now. You can convert things to anything. I'm going to convert that CAD box to a terrain feature and make it a hole. Okay, so I'm converting that box to a terrain feature, and then I'm making it a hole in the terrain. So now when I go look at the terrain, it will in fact show up like that. So now you're getting the hole there. Okay, so that's that. That's you know real quickly how you can make window walls.